Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, Jen and Amy here, and uh, we're using the same wrap on the feet that we did for the hundreds, so that the therabands on the outside of the leg. This is actually a really difficult exercise. There's a lot of different elements that are involved, even without the TheraBand, but now we have to organize around the TheraBand. And once your client kind of get, gets used to the prop, then the prop is really gonna help them find all of those elements that we want them to find anyway in the normal crisscross bicycle. Um, for example, keeping the legs aligned so that we're not crossing the midline. Um, keeping the pelvis weighted and even, and getting that beautiful thoracic rotation, really allowing one side of the rib cage to roll up as the other side rolls down, and uh, carrying the head and the shoulder girdle from that thoracic rotation. All right, here we go. So the legs are gonna come into tabletop, and the first thing that I want Amy to do here is um, anchor her elbows. Yep, and then I just want her to bicycle the legs. So she'll just reach one leg out and one knee in. Good, and we're looking for alignment here that the hip bone is in line with the center of the knee and is in line with the second toe. So visually right now she's cueing herself. She's giving her, herself um, a sense of where the legs should be in space. Um, to prepare her for when she starts to rotate and she's not looking at her feet and her legs. And then the legs come back into tabletop and then her arms can lengthen. And then on her exhale, she's gonna come into her ab curl. And then we're gonna go into lengthening the left leg, bending the right knee, and she's gonna to rotate towards her right knee and she's gonna come into her cheerleader arms, trying to find some decompression on that bottom shoulder. And then she'll come back to center, keeping her height, and then she'll go to the other side. Good, she's doing a great job tracking the legs, keeping the pelvis down, and then slowly coming back to center, keeping her height. And other side, exhale, rotating rib to that opposite hip. Good, and keep the height as you come back to center. And exhale, rib to the opposite hip, trying to keep that decompression of the bottom shoulder, and then slowly back to center and release. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.